Hello everyone, in this video we'll talk about how to convert SVG files into XML files in Android Studio so that we can use them in our Android application. It will be a good idea, I think we should talk about benefit of SVG files over PNG and JPEG. First benefit is scalability, they can be scaled up or down without loss of quality in simple language. They can be zoomed out and zoomed in without losing quality. Second benefit is they are smaller in size. Uh, in comparison to JPEG and PNG. The third benefit is resolution independence, which means they look sharp and clear on screens with different pixel density and resolution. And we do not have to provide multiple versions of the same image for different screen densities. And the third benefit is they can support animation using CSS and JavaScript. Uh, that's all for now. Let's see how to do this. And before this, I'll show you my website. This is my website, Jetpack Compose World. On this website, I post the article about Android development using Jetpack Compose. And we do this in Kotlin. As you know, Jetpack Compose only support Kotlin. And uh, the same topic we are talking right now. Uh, I wrote a blog yesterday, and now I'm making video on it. You can check this blog. I'm I'm going to provide the link in the video description. Okay, let's see how to do it manually. Go to your project or application. Go this res folder. First of all, if this pane is not open, go to project pane and select the Android view of your directory. Then right click on the res folder, then go to new, then vector asset. And over here, select the local file SVG and PSD. And over here, click the browse icon and go to your files where your files are then svg just select the image i'm going to select you can change the name over here i'm going to change the name to the grid okay just hit the next then finish and it is over here you can use in here go to image I hope you know how to use image in Jetpack Compose. If not, then you can check out my blog on the website. I'll provide a link to about this too. Okay, it is processing. I think we'll have to build it. You can see that the image is loaded. It will not be, you know, good idea to import one image at a time. Like I told you, just right click on the res, then go to vector and asset and import one by one. If we have 100 images and 1000 images for our application, then it will take too much time. So to save our time, just go to in the right pane resource manager. If it is not visible, then go to tools and then resource manager, it will be visible. Just click on the resource manager, then go to plus icon. And now over here, import drawables. Now select the folder. If you want to import all the images in a folder, then select the folder, hit OK, and it will load all the images. I'm not going to do that because the grips image I have already imported. I'm going back again and then go to the folder and I will select only two images, strawberries and cookies, hit OK, and now these. Two images are selected and one more thing you need to do over here in the qualifier type just select density and on the value no density over here density and no density the next and import c and you can see that your images will be available in drawable folder you can change the name over here and you can uh, you could change that over there as well Okay, these and this name should be strawberry. I'll show you how to use them. Just type the strawberries in the image section. I think we will have to build it again.
okay you can see there's strawberry images and same way we can use cookies image as well and this time i think we will not build this okay you can see that and you can see that all the content is text that's why the svg images are very small in file size and jpeg and jpeg and pngs are very large in size that's all for this video thank you